Hi guys, it's only Wednesday Brown and I'm back with another tip notes video. So as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. The topic here is to be more understanding. And I know when some people see this, they're like, oh, here she go. But it is, it is definitely time for us to be a little bit more understanding with you know the emotions that we take in from people, the issues we take in from other people, even with ourselves, it's time to be more understanding of ourselves and what we bring to the table, what we're gonna put up with and what we're not gonna put up with. This conversation actually stemmed from a group that I've been joining every Thursday. It's called Power and Planning. And I appreciate my friend for actually telling me about the group and for the actual host of the group allowing me to join the group. This topic also stemmed from one of my close friends. Um, we've been super close friends for now for like, I don't know, what, maybe two, two years. We've been close friends for two years now and we just had a conversation or whatever and she was just kind of telling me you know, what she has going on in her life and she was kind of talking herself through it with me and so I'm like girl like look thank you for this you are helping me get through this tip notes today so shout out to those ladies for helping me to come up with the message that I have today for my tip notes which is to be more understanding so to be more understanding I think that it's very important for us to learn a person I'm gonna go ahead and put this out there when I say be more understanding I'm not saying to dismiss your feelings whatsoever sit with your feelings i say this to everybody all the time sit with your feelings and feel what you feel but it can't just be all about you at some point figure out what it is that this person why they're acting the way that they're acting and why they're saying the things that they're saying you have to take into consideration those things and those factors as well into how this communication is becoming non-effective. We can try to be more understanding and I say we because I am not exempt from this. I have my times where I'm really only thinking about myself in a certain situation and I have to step back and be like, well, Tiffany, you know, they may be going through something. This is why they're saying what they're saying or acting the way they're acting. So. We are in this together. We are going to have to start learning people, learning their style of communication, um, ask them questions. And when you ask them questions and you hear their response, you're immediately going to know what type of person that you're dealing with from the response that they give. And after the response that they give you, check their actions. Because if their actions don't hold up to what their words were, then you obviously know what type of person that you're dealing with. And you can kind of understand where you need to go if you still need to be communicating with this person or if it's time to just go ahead and go your separate way. And also be more understanding by shifting our egos. And when I say shift our egos, I mean we don't always have to be right. Shift your ego in a way to where everything does not need a response. It's sometimes when people are going to... They're going to talk to you crazy and you're going to be like, well, who is person that they're talking to? <laughs> okay. Who do you think you're talking to? And I get that. I really, I, I really do get that. But sometimes you really do, like I said, have to take the high road and be like, you know what? This is not my place. This does not serve me peace. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot you the okay text message or whatever it may be because you know wholeheartedly in your heart that that is not even the energy that you're trying to bring around yourself. You don't need that energy in your life. You can't move forward with that type of energy in your life. Shift your ego in a way that if you do decide to respond, don't let it be out of context and don't let it be combative and ignorant as well because what is two people who are, one is responding in a manner where nobody really wants to listen to you because of how you're coming off at them and then somebody else brings that same energy what is that going to help what is the solution here to this issue that we have and lastly we can also just be more understanding by thinking before we speak i go through this with myself where i ask myself questions 
and I'm like, okay, so they said this. How am I going to respond? Okay, because I don't want to be the one to respond and what I'm saying is ignorant, it's coming out of my mouth or it doesn't make sense to you. Like I said, everything doesn't need a response, but when you do decide to respond, make sure it is in a manner of whoever you're speaking to is going to one understand the message that you're trying to get across to them because you're relaying it in a way that they can understand and that's why it's important to be very understanding of people because you can be trying to relay this message to somebody and they don't get anything that you're saying why because it doesn't relay to them in a proper manner they're used to people talking to them a certain way or they're used to not even hearing anything that you're saying they haven't heard it before so they're dismissive of it as well so i would say think before you speak make sure what you're saying you only have to say it one time to where these people can get your message we are all growing in our communication here so to be more understanding just learn a person shift your ego and think before you speak Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you for watching. I really appreciate you for listening. And I will be back with a new Tip Notes video next week. Bye.